Years ago, you would see them at carnivals and fairs, and people would stand in long lines with their friends. And once in, they'd pull the curtain, rotate the stool, put in their money, wait for the light to start flashing, then stick out their tongue or kiss the person next to them. And after the pictures were snapped, they'd hold on to this strip of four photos, sometimes for years. You've done it. I've done it. Nowadays, we see them popping up at different events, including weddings. With me today is Jeff Toy, owner and operator of Toy Brothers Entertainment. Welcome to Wedding Planning Weekly. Thanks, Mike. Is the photo booth just a fad, or is it here to stay? I definitely think it's something here to stay because they actually get to take that keepsake away with them and they're going to put it on their fridge, they're going to put it in their, in their office and it's going to be something that they're going to be looking at from years to come. Well, what is it about the photo booth that has allowed it to keep its mystique and relevance throughout the last century? Photos. People love seeing photos and whatever it is, whether they go to your wedding, my wedding, or a friend's wedding, every time that they take in a photo, it reminds them of that time. So it brings back memories throughout their life. Well, I would think that probably not all photo booths are created equal. And like any business a bride and a groom is about to hire, they need to ask questions and lots of them. Give me tip number one. You know, tip one number one would be, what does the booth look like? I mean, you obviously want your wedding to be a very elegant event, so you want the photo booth to kind of match like that. There are photo booths out there that kind of look like pop-up tents. There are other ones that are going to take up a lot of the room. You want something that's going to be elegant that fits your style and your needs. I know when doing a wedding, uh, it probably takes a little bit of time to set up and so when do you set the booth up and how long does it take? Our company we arrive at least an hour, hour and a half before the wedding starts just because we don't want to be there during the wedding and setting up the booth. Tip number three. What type of camera do you use? My company uses a DSLR camera. An 18 megapixel camera may be a bit overkill but it's your wedding you want the best of the best. Just as important as the camera is the printer. And we use a sub die printer, the same printer that you would go to a local drugstore and get your photos printed. Well, I'm sure everything comes down to money. So the fifth tip is what's included in your price? You know, for any wedding, you're going to be looking for main things, like is there going to be somebody there running the booth? Is there going to be a memory book included? Which is the main reason why you're going to want it for your wedding, because instead of just having a sign and guest book, now you have a sign and guest book with photos that you'll put on your coffee table. We hear over and over again where brides say, you know what, it's on our coffee table. We look at it on a weekly basis and laugh at the photos that were taken. Thanks, Jeff. Fantastic tips and ideas for our brides and grooms to know about. Toy Brothers Entertainment is a longtime member of the Buffalo Bridal Association. And if brides need to get a hold of you, what do they have to do? They can check out our website at toybros.com or give us a call at 479-1133. So go to the internet, toybros.com, or give them a call. Back to you, Ben and Beth.